the Putala Palace. This is the Putala Palace, located in Tibet, China. It is situated on Lhasa's Marpo Ri and lies at an altitude of over 3,700 meters. The construction of the Putala Palace began in the 7th century AD. Tungsten Gempu, the then Tibetan king, is said to have begun construction of this palace. It was expanded and enlarged numerous times by later kings. As a result of war, most of the ancient buildings in the palace were destroyed. In the 17th century AD, the Qing government officially conferred the fifth Dalai Lama with the title of Tibet's political and religious leader, and the reconstruction of the Potala Palace was begun. Thereafter, successive Dalai Lamas undertook efforts to expand its construction, resulting in the grand scale of the Potala Palace that we see today. The Potala Palace was praised by later generations as the Holy Temple of the Highlands. It represents the ancient architecture of Tibet and is also the symbol of Tibetan culture. The palace, which is comprised entirely of stone and wood, has an area of 130,000 square meters. Gold-plated copper tiles cover the roofs of the five palaces giving them a shiny and glittery appearance. The architecture of the Patala Palace is mainly composed of the White Palace on the east, the central Red Palace, and the white-colored residence for monks on the west. This is the largest building in the White Palace, the East Great Hall. The East Great Hall was the place where successive Dalai Lamas held major religious events as well as political activities. This is the Red Palace. The Red Palace contains eight stupas, the first and largest of which was for the fifth Dalai Lama. This is Tsongsen Gampo's cultivation cave. Built in the seventh century AD, it is one of the most ancient structures in the Potala Palace. The wall paintings in the Patala Palace can be likened to a gigantic art gallery. The paintings record many major events from Tibet's past, presenting a precious pictorial record of the region's history. The Patala Palace became one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites in 1994.